GTA 5 is getting another new coat of paint thanks to mods, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet get new battle details, and the Game Awards has an official date. The mod scene for GTA 5 has been very exciting ever since the game first released on PC just over 7 years ago, and it's no surprise that it is still going strong. So there's no better way to pretend you're playing a new GTA than to add great mods to the current game while you patiently wait for 6 to arrive. Natural Vision is a long-running visual enhancement mod for GTA 5. The mod originally got a full release under the name Natural Vision Remastered, but development has continued under the moniker Natural Vision evolved. In a new trailer, the team behind it shows off their work and outlines recent additions to the mod. This latest update adds parallax roads, pavements, and building interiors, giving the ground more layered textures and granting inaccessible interiors the illusion of depth. A wider variety of vegetation and volumetric clouds lend additional fidelity to the game's natural landscapes. Finally, this update overhauls lighting and adds animated signs to the game. The mod is also fully compatible with 5M, a popular multiplayer modification. This mod has yet to have a full release, but is in early access beta, so you can download it for free on the Raised Mods website. Switching gears now to a franchise that I wish could get visual enhancements on PC, Pokemon. At the conclusion of the 2022 Pokemon World Championships in London, the Pokemon Company revealed a new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet which focused on battle mechanics and online play. The trailer opened up with the introduction of a new Pokemon, the dragon and normal type Cyclozer, which showed off a new move called Shred Tail. This move acts as a mixture of substitute and baton pass, creating a Pokedoll substitute before immediately swapping out for another Pokemon in the party. The trailer also showed off new battle items coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, including the Mirror Herb, which mimics a stat boost an opponent gives itself and applies it to the holder of the item. Another item is Loaded Dice, which makes multi-hit attacks have a higher chance of landing the maximum number of hits. Along with the new trailer, the website also detailed the all-new Battle Stadium mode, which acts as the game's online battle feature. Both casual and ranked battles will be included from launch, while friendly and official online competitive options will also be available. Players will be able to build a team for battle and then share its unique ID, allowing anyone with the ID to use that team as a rental. And moving right along to this year's Game Awards. After a 2021 event that saw the highest streaming numbers in its history, Jeff Keighley will present the 2022 Game Awards on December 8th live from Los Angeles. The ninth annual Game Awards will be broadcast live on over 40 streaming services around the world, but you'll only have to worry about two of them because we'll be broadcasting the event right here at GameSpot via our YouTube and Twitch channels. This year will also mark the return of public ticket sales to the ceremony, pending health and safety guidelines from both the CDC and the city of Los Angeles. Alongside an official date, a brand new award has also been confirmed for the ceremony, Best Adaptation, which will recognize movies, TV shows, podcasts, and other forms of media that adapt a video game IP. But December is still a ways away, so in the meantime, make sure to catch Jeff Keighley's next event, Gamescom Opening Night Live, which will broadcast tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, right here on GameSpot's YouTube and Twitch channels. We'll see you then.